Oh, still, man. What's the deal, man? Finally off the fucking clock. Going to Texas Roll House tonight, more than likely to celebrate my 35th, man. Oh, yes. August 5th, 1986, a motherfucking star was born. You dig me? So, happy birthday to the God himself and my twin. I got a twin brother, literally. 18 seconds apart. Yeah, shout out my twin brother, Ray Nail. I'm Ron Nail. I don't know if niggas know that. But, um, I want to talk about motherfucking Anthony Joshua, man. Man, listen, man. 60,000 seats sold in 24 hours in London. If that ain't a, if, if that if that's not a personification of being the being the face one of the global faces of this sport then I don't know what else to tell you. I mean I mean Jesus dude. Canelo did what 20,000 here in America in like 24 hours some wild shit like that man it, AJ did just 60 in a day. I, I mean, what more can you say, man? One thing I did, I seen somebody say something just, just outlandishly just dumb. And pretty much we got here in America where, you know, capitalism is just at the root of everything, man. And just, it's just so ingrained in us that if we get something if we get better quality for a cheaper price you dig it's a knock against us it's, it's that somehow downgraded i seen somebody say so oh man it's easy to sell tickets when they there's 40 dollars a pop or some dumb shit like that you think if it was just that if it was as simple as lowering the prices with a lot of these fighters that would attract that much more attention like no sixty thousand is sixty thousand I don't know how you get maybe if and if that is the case, then these motherfuckers over here need to do that shit. It's literally the same situation where is you got dumbass niggas justifying buying and spending 70 plus dollars on a pay-per-view when the zone has an app in which you can get that a quality pay-per-view as type fight for twenty dollars either a month or a hundred dollars annually. And people are denigrating. Eddie Hearn for, you know what I'm saying, trying to bring the, the Zone app to an American market. Just people, look, they just get ridiculous when it comes to the, um, they, they just get outlandishly just dumb when it comes to, you know, anything to denigrate the ops. And they not even the ops. They not their personal ops. It's competition as far as the promoters are concerned, but you bitch ass niggas don't see none of that shit. Fuck out of here, but nonetheless, 60,000 in 24 hours, man. That is a big deal, bro. Him and Canelo, it's undisputed who are the voices, the voices, the faces of this sport is. It's undisputed. It's literally undisputed. They're the ones putting in the most work. And they're the most recognizable faces in the sport. Mine is Manny Pacquiao. But Manny Pacquiao was literally, Manny Pacquiao was a fighter too from retirement. That's just what it is, man. But nonetheless, uh, just we, we gonna talk about AJ, man. Um, I just saw the brothers, you know, his training footage and everything, man, and just everything. He's just looking sharp, man. Just looking, just looking sharp, looking real sharp, man. He's leaner. I wouldn't doubt if he came into this fight probably around about the same size as Usyk. I think Usyk managed to balloon up to like 230 or something like that. I want to say. Was he like 230 against to, to soar? I think that's the lightest Joshua would get. It'll be about 230. I think he can get down to like 230. Cause I, you know, just everything, like all, all the training I'm seeing of him is just is just really predicated on him being nimble in there. Him being light on his feet, on his toes a lot, man. Cause um he's gonna need to be, because he's never been in front of a fleet footed fighter on the scale of a Alexander Usyk. I mean just everything like it was a it was it was a it was a clip i saw of him hitting a balloon you know knock the you know, we don't want two three punch combination to the balloon and knock the balloon in the air and get as many shots off on the bag before the balloon comes back to eye level with him where he has to go back and make eye contact or make contact with the balloon 
just look, just sharpening your reflexes, sharpening your hand-eye coordination, man. The minute you see an opening, you take the opening because that's what he's gonna need to do with Alexander Usyk because those openings aren't gonna, those holes aren't gonna be there, at, you know, that long when you're in front of a Alexander Usyk. He's that savvy in the ring. He's that savvy. You're gonna need to be cat quick to be able to deal with him. Whatever you see won't be there long. They won't be there long. I don't give a fuck if he's standing on the rope, which he won't be standing on the rope early on at least. But um, yeah, that's that's. I'm, I'm seeing all that, the footwork drills, just everything, man. Um, even even with him on the mitts, man, it's it's it's, it's not him. He's not too much focused on like power and just explosive concussive power. It's just like touching him, just touching him, just touching him. Not nothing with too much. You, I usually when you see him throw the uppercut, it's you know coming from the ground. With how he, and by the time he makes impact with that uppercut, you know you 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 know you you in a coma. <laughs> You're you know you comatose. But um, I just, like I'm seeing it in combination, man. I'm seeing how he's everything. Everything is just in motion. It's fluid. It's a rhythm to it. The shoulders and everything is going. It's just, it's, it's just like man, I like I'm just feeling good though. It's like it was like shadow boxing. It's like shadow boxing. You ain't trying to sit down on no punches in shadow boxing. You're just getting your muscles going. You just, you're the, that's the first thing you do when you get in the gym. You're gonna spend about three or four rounds and you know what I'm saying. Shadow boxing in the ring. After you done stretched out, you done ran, you done jump rope, you done did whatever. Now it's time before you get on the bags. You're gonna hit your shit. You on shadow box. I personally shadow box after I do after I jump rope and I do my crunches. And I'll, you know, I'll run. But the him hitting the mitts is looking like him doing him just shadow boxing. Because he's going to be, you can't load, you're not going to be able to load up. Because by the time you get that shot off, he's going to be far out of range. He's going to be far out of range. And sometimes not even in range in the sense of him out of range. It may just be him cutting that angle and ended up on the side of him. So everything is just looking real fluid. Everything is just looking real nimble and just like, yo, even the jab. I'm looking, I'm looking at the jab work, full punch combinations and jabs on the mids. I'm like, man, the body work is there. Uppercut, body, right uppercut, right hook to the body, left hook to the body, left uppercut, all in combination, all in just one fluid, swift motion. It's just, he's just really, really really looking at, looking like man i'm hearing all the criticism here what everybody has to say i've argued with people one of my coaches included he thought that Usyk would beat anthony joshua he, he's thought this he's not gonna beat alexander Usyk. i'm like yeah. he's hearing all the criticism man and everything somebody has to say about him he's he's looking like he's working towards ironing out that wrinkle in his game that's what I'm seeing from Anthony Joshua in the now, man. Just really, just really a focused, focus fixated fighter on getting this victory. And I'm not even sure if Usyk really want to be in front of Joshua like that with all this dumb shit that's been going on with him and Fury. Especially with him and Fury. Not so much Wilder in the now, but him and Fury. You dig with all the, you know, the epic collapse of the undisputed match between the two of them due to, you know, Deontay Wilder. Nonetheless, but you know, contractually, Wilder was, you know, he's in the right. So contractually, we can't be too mad at Wilder, even though I can be. He's in the right, you dig? But all that shit is playing. It's like, yo, y'all, you know, it's like it, whatever. It's always an obstacle to stop me from being undisputed. It's always something there, you know. It's a roadblock. Y'all just cannot let me get through the roadblock. It's becoming an irritant. Like a fucking mosquito at a barbecue. You dig me? It's, it's just really getting ir he's, be, he's irritable with it. And I don't think somebody. I don't, I don't think a motherfucker really just wants to be sitting in front of that. Because for you know a lot of niggas talk all the wild shit they say about Anthony Joshua. We know Wilder for one. You know that right hand, that colossal right hand. But that's what you know. He's a concussive puncher with one hand. He's a one-handed fighter. Anthony Joshua can set up the shot and he's a concussive puncher. He's a concussive puncher as well. His right hand isn't as big as Deontay Wilder's, but his right uppercut is, his jab is, his left hook is. 
So, uh, you know, he's seeing all of the bullshit everybody has been saying. The collapse of Fury, him and Fury. And, you know, it's, that shit is irritating him. I know for a fact it is. Because it's like, yo, man, y'all niggas just be really doing, you know, stunting for the gram. But he's also, feel, I think he's feeling invigorated also because it's like, you know what? People are finally starting to see that I was never in the wrong. I, I sent that man a contract, a, si a contract in which he was he's never been compensated that much in his life. I sent him that, and he rejected it. And now he comes out just to say, I was sent the same kind. I was sent to, you know, I was offered more money to fight. Everybody, all the fans are starting to see that. Not all fans. Deontay still has his diehards, but a lot of the fans who are sensible are starting to see that. Like, all right, yeah, that, that's pretty undisputable. There's nothing you can argue against that. But he sees that and he's starting to get the support. You know, he's you know, people are getting irritated with those two over there. He's the only one who's trying to put in work. He's the only one who's just been hell bent on becoming undisputed. So he feels that energy. He feels that energy, and I think he's gonna take that energy into into this fight as well. On top of the aggravation and the irritation by these two motherfuckers over there on the other side. So he, I mean, he knows what he has to do. He knows what he has to do. I think he's going to come in. Like I said, I think he'll come in about it. You know, maybe his, he may be fucked around and be the same size as uh, as Usyk. And I think he's going to be need to be fleet-footed like he was against Andy Ruiz. But this time from, a, you know, on his front foot. Because he's not going to be able to fight off of the back foot with, a, with a, uh, Alexander Usyk. That's just not going to happen. Music is, I think he's more, he's, he's a lot more skilled as far as his back foot game is concerned. Uh, Anthony Joshua, I, he has that, he has that step back right hand that's working in his favor. I don't see heavyweights doing that. That dude does that, he does that shit like Canelo and Floyd and Roy. So I see that, you know, that's most definitely in his favor, but until... Usyk is in a position as to where he's he has to commit to being an aggressor and going on the attack. That step back right hand is going to be null and void. It's going to be null and void. So Joshua, in the early stages of the fight, is going to have to go and find that man. He's going to have to go and find him. That's just what it is. That's just what it is. And he's not as skilled as a back foot fighter as Usyk is. Usyk is entirely... Usyk is nice, man. The lateral movement is there. The counter punching is there. Just the IQ, how he sets up the shots, the combination punching. The fact he has the faster hands. He's all that shit is. He can't do that on the level of Alexander Usyk. But like I said before, it's it's not. It's it's the skill and it's the skill in combination with the size and punching power. I think. Usyk is a little bit more skilled than Anthony Joshua, but I think it's the size and the skill combined of Anthony Joshua that's going to, I personally think, stop Usyk. I, I, I personally think so. But, um, yeah, so he sees all that shit. He, you know, he's working, he's, he's working on whatever it is. I, he's working on tactics to cut off three. It's like when Canelo fought uh, uh, Saunders this last match. You've seen him in the locker room really work, you know, honing in on footwork and cutting angles, making those sharp angles, sharp, sudden angles on the dime on some Derrick Rose shit. You dig to get in position to where you cut you, you cut him off from going wherever he's going and you set yourself up to get some shots off. He's doing all that. I, I see it. I see it. He's not showing us everything that he's going to do. He's not re completely revealing his game plan, but everybody, anybody with any sort of common knowledge is going to know what his game plan is to a certain degree. They're gonna know. You gotta know. And I could be very much so wrong. I could be wrong in the sense Usa go in here and just dominate him and eventually stop him. It's boxing. It's the theater of the unexpected. You dig and these are world class big fighters in the heavyweight division, the Goliath of the division, of the divisions in boxing. I have no doubt that shit can well I do have a doubt, but Shit can happen. Dig, I'm I'm fully understanding of that. But if we if the fight plans out like how if it plays out like how I'm thinking it's gonna play out, then man. 
everything that I'm seeing of you know Joshua doing in training camp, the little bit of shit that I am that I have seen is just really indicative of him becoming a more complete fighter and a leaner fighter for this fight. I, I, I think um and I think it's gonna play it's gonna pay you know bear good fruit. So I just gotta get my credences. And every time I get a pick, every time I get an opportunity to big up Anthony Joshua, I'ma do that, man. I've been rocking with Joshua since the Klitschko fight. You dig? I was I did I wasn't too privy at Joshua in that fight. Like I've heard of him, but you know I was I, 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 I dug Klitschko. A lot of people thought his style was boring. I, I dug the dominance. I dug ten years undefeated. I dug. Uh, what I don't know how many title defenses I, I, I dug all that man I, I, I dug it a unified world champion I dug all that I just I'm just like that shit is dope and you know he's an old head you know outshining the younger dudes I dug that I think that shit was dope so I wasn't necessarily ready to see him go I wasn't ready to see the torch pass even with Manny I'm not necessarily ready to see the torch pass because that means damn man this is it this is it. We dig. It wasn't so hard with Floyd because, you know, I was a bigger Manny fan. But it is like, damn man, Floyd is really retiring. We really, about, we're really seeing the passing of the torch right now. You know, I wasn't ready necessarily to see that with Klitschko. I remember when Klitschko got dropped. I'm like, oh shit. Okay, okay, here we go. And then I saw AJ gas. And then I seen AJ get dropped, and I'm like, oh! And by that time, I'm coming in the knowledge of self and black consciousness. So I'm like, I gotta root for the brother. You dig? I have to. I have to root for the brother. I gotta root for the brother. And so I started rooting for the brother, and he was able to get Klitschko out of there, man. But ever since that fight, I've been a supporter of Anthony Joshua. I, I have been, man. I see. I've seen the growth. I've heard all the criticisms. I still get criticized for being a bigger fan and supporter of him than I am with Wilder. I, I, I get all I get all that. I get all that. Oh, that ain't even a real brother. All that boy, man. Fuck out of here, man. He's putting in the road work and he is as black as me. I don't want to hear that shit. So he has my, uh, you know, up until this point, unless he does some bozo bullshit, he has my un, you know, he has, he has my unwavering support. I fuck with Anthony Joshua, man. I'm picking Anthony Joshua in this fight. I'm picking Anthony Joshua in any fight in the division within the next few years. Within the next few years, man. Or, you know, I don't see any heavyweight, really, except Tyson Fury, of course. And depending on how he does, how he does against Alexander Usyk will be a, somewhat of a measuring stick of how he'll do with Tyson Fury. It'll be a measuring stick. Because both of their styles are somewhat similar. But just how fleet footed they are. So if he can get in there and step on Alexander Usyk, I'm that much more confident in how he do it a, a, a Tyson Fury. So we got till what September 25th to find out. He got he has till September 25th to get ready for this fight. And I mean he's been training for I mean shit, just the fact that he was even uh, 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 doubtful that him and Fury will fight, and he brung up Usyk. That just, I'm sure he's been prepared. I mean, the prepare for one is like preparing for the other. He's gonna have to deal with the same sort of resistance from each individual fighter. The difference is Fury is just the taller fighter. Fury is the taller fighter. I think Fury has the faster hands. He's, I think, just in the pocket, Fury's a little bit slicker. So I don't know, man. I'm just I'm happy to see my man back in the ring, man. Um, and we only got a month until he actually steps into action and goes to work. While we still waiting on Wilder and Fury, Joshua got you know got his fight signed, still delivered, and is ready to do the damn thing and appease the fans. Sixty thousand of them motherfuckers in 24 hours. Some respect on that man's name, man. At this point, it should be no it should be no debate, no second guessing who that nigga is and who is the face of boxing on a global scale one of the two I don't care if you got a 1A or 1B it's him and Canelo 
So, like and subscribe. Let me know what y'all niggas think, man. I'm out, man. Shout out to Anthony Joshua.